Okay guys, this is uh, August the 3rd and I'm doing this video just uh, about a demonstration of a very way back video that I ran on this, uh, the same uh, North-South Imperial right here. Uh, now the only thing is loose so I'm going to have to hold it and it's, it's not connected, it's, it's, it's completely loose. So it's not hooked to the generator. Now, the way I did it is uh, the way I have wired now, the same way. I'm, I'm feeding output gate first, and this would be this switch right here. Okay, this switch is output. This is input, normal input. So I'm going to do it exactly as the video. And the way I have it hooked is as this. I join the feet from one switch to the other through through a bridge then I take this wire right here I follow it through the, the DC amp meter and I take it to the blade right here and the blade is connected to the negative of the battery and this is the cable for my meter my meter that is showing 35 volts even on these three batteries now the batteries haven't been charged on the point here is, is just to establish that there is a fluctuation in I'm gonna turn on the freshly charged batteries on this meter I'm gonna turn it on to AC I'm sorry DC amps okay and I'm gonna zero it zero it okay now I'm gonna turn this on both switches are off okay and I'm gonna first turn I'm not measuring any um, other parameter here now no uh, and the gates are fed separate here is the, the the difference on it I got all the the positives are all joined in once in one bar and it's going to the battery so it's like a common positive for all of the the gates of the motor so but I I have hooked in parallel gate 1 gate 2 and gate 3 gate 4 this would be output and this goes to the switch each independent each switch is independently hooked to this bar right here and I can provide a, a diagram if it's required on this now let's watch it I'm gonna turn on first number one and I, you gotta understand I'm holding the camera I'm trying to hold the motor and aim towards uh, the meter here okay I'm gonna turn on power output okay, motor is on. and amperage is 16 now as soon as I turn on switch to it goes up and then starts coming down starts coming down to 17 16 now when I turn this off it only did an increase of 2 ones roughly I'm going to turn it off again and you see how much it decreases down. It feels around 15, 17. That's exactly what it is of so only one gate. So the difference in amperage between one gate and the other one is almost not that. Capiche? Nothing. Nothing. Nickel and dime. Guys. Now the batteries haven't been charged, so they're coming down. And you see the middle how it comes down and batteries. Battery uh, terminal got disconnected, but now how it quick read out. 34.2. That's it. So the point that I'm trying to establish here is that if I turn on one gate, and I'm again I'm feeding the DC clamp to the blade 
not through one of these things. I'm not dumb. I'm not going to do it. So to trick anybody's mind here. I could have done it on here. And I know I get half of the amperage. And I've done it here. I get half of the amperage. But I'm doing it here. Which is the common one. That goes uh, direct to the pole of the battery. Okay. So I please wouldn't want any more about this argument on the forum. I, I hope with this is clear what, what I did at that time. Now, when I, if you remember the video, and you can replay back, it was somewhere around the same amperage, about 17, and these batteries haven't been charged. Those, at that time, were fully charged. Now, they were delivering somewhere around 17, 20, uh, with the, without the load on. Now, once that I put the load, they went up to 20 amps, because they put a stress on the motor. Okay? So... That's what I wanted to show. Thank you.